This episode of the Damage Guild podcast is sponsored by listeners like you. Join the guild at patreon.com slash damage guild to receive exclusive perks, member rewards, and bonus content. Previously on the Damage Guild podcast. When a creature within five feet of you casts a spell, you can use a reaction to make a melee weapon attack against that creature. Is that from Mage Slayer? I've become a Mage Slayer. I'm going to reach into the armband of Altoria. Shaba, you must live. You feel newfound fortitude springing up within you. Shaba, make a strength saving throw. So it's a 17. Yellow tendrils erupt around you and try to grasp you, but you manage to break free of them. As the flies down, he's going to dish up the old... Psychic land. So he makes an intelligence save. 16. Ooh, I think that just fails. You land on the deck and just fry this mage's brain, and he collapses. I spike growth the main deck, and you and I fly up to the front by Aslo. And we don't take any damage since we're flying. Aslo's going to cast Thunder Wave, potentially push them off the edge of the ship. So you let out your Thunder Wave, and the other soldier flips backwards over the ledge and just falls down screaming. Uh, that's amazing. Oh, nice. That was so satisfying. <laughs> I'm very happy I did that. I need to find a sound <laughs> bite of the Wilhelm scream and just insert it just for this. <laughs> you need at least one in every episode. <laughs> yeah, right. I need to go back to all hundred and some episodes and find a place to put one. <laughs> uh, and then I will basically just fly back to where I was. Sweet, dude. That was a very powerful level one spell. Deal 20 damage to one, insta-kill another. You might want to pull in a little bit towards the center of the balloon to make sure that that guy who's standing along the edge of the railing on our side is a little more out of sight. Yeah, a little more distance between me and him. Maybe you should get on the other side of Shaba because Shaba has Brazil. That's true. Do I have enough movement, though? Because I'm trying to factor in, like, having to fly down and around the side of the blimp. Oh, the Z-axis? Yeah, that's probably as far as you can go, is right next to me there. Yeah. And I think that's my turn. All right. It's a good turn. Now the mage. I thought this combat was going terribly, but now I feel really good about it after (laughs) seeing Aslo push a guy off. (laughs) Hey, uh, Tokus, are the boots of Kamir a... Or no, wait, I'm wearing the boots of Kamir. You're wearing the thunder boots. Is that a push effect or just a... Uh, trip. It's a knockdown effect. It's a knockdown, yeah. It's uh, prone, which is good. By the way, that was Aslo flying down, and he has uh, his loot in his hands, and he has just a giant amplifier strapped to his chest. <laughs> he plugs it in, and he just... <laughs> and that's what knocks him over. And then he flies back up. Like the, like the dude from Mad Max. Now Jay has to find that sound effect. <laughs> right. So, Tokus, you see the mage casting a spell, and then he begins to fly into the air. Oh, no. Oh, that jerk. So he avoids the spikes and then moves around towards the front of the ship out of sight. How oh, could he? We're not the only flyers on this ship. <laughs> Next is Shava. Oh, wow. Back to me already. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I will be totally honest, I did not think this far ahead, so. (laughs) um, Well, okay, so you got the spike growth off, you need to maintain that. Yeah, I guess I can fly down and land, like, below where I am in the spike growth, since I won't actually be moving through the spike growth. Uh, I think entering it causes you to take damage. Uh, If, If you land on the spiked ground. How many lightning bow shots have you got left? Uh, two. Uh, yeah, it says when a creature moves into or within the area. Yeah, so flying up out of it was fine, but flying down into it is not. Fair enough. So, case in point, point in case, <laughs> those guys will wake up eventually. We don't want to pop it yet, though, right? I mean, there's a juicy shot for Shaba, but it would involve wa- potentially waking, or it would wake yes. up. Yes, it would wake up two of the gut of the sleepers. So, maybe, dude, maybe you hold it, man. Like, maybe you don't blow it. Yeah. I'm trying to think how I can get into a position safely to shoot. Could you try to hunt down the caster? You're like a ranger. You hunt things. I do hunt things. Yeah, honestly, I would either snipe the caster or just pick the guys that are the worst hurt and take them out. Because we are we have some guys that are injured. We just need to, like, actually finish them off. Right. The caster is fairly badly hurt. I, I would love if you hunted that guy down. I'm scared of yeah, him. Yeah, I could, I could try and mark him. Oh, no, you can't. You'd lose the spike growth. Uh, oh, oh, right. Concentration. Concentration, mm. yes, indeed. Man, this is tough, because I, I only have nine hit points. 
So one thing you could do, which is not advised, is shoot the pilot. Yeah. I mean, if I can get into a position to shoot anybody and then get back into hiding, that's what that's what I want to do. I could fly down onto one of the wings, or couldn't I just like go down into the rigging and hold myself in it in the rigging just like standing on it with sort of flying but using the rigging to not go anywhere yeah that's what i've been doing yeah just anchor yourself like if you want to be using your bow then your hands would be occupied with that but you're talking about like tying your legs into the rigging and right just to make sure that i don't float away (laughs) like to stay stationary In, in addition to the maneuvering you're thinking of doing uh what what about busting out the wand of web? The wand of web is counteractive to the spike growth, though. Is it though? Because yeah. both of the ways that we move the enemies ignores the web. Like th- thunder wave and lightning lore would still move the enemy. They would. Is that yeah. a true thing? They should. Yeah. The web reduces their own movement, so they can't run around. Yeah, we can still push um, and pull, and they're not. Mm-hmm. They saw all of these enemies saw, except for the ones that are unconscious. Right? I guess they would have seen it too. All of the enemies know that the spike growth is there. Like they've already. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Like the like for for example, the the wizard already took evasive actions. I mean, like right. I don't. I think in order to maximize your spike growth, it's going to be up to Brian and I moving them with our abilities. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to ask this question again. Which of the main, the guards or the soldiers have ranged weapons? Or how many of them do? Three of the ones that are left have bows out. They're the ones that are, like, two on the opposite side of the ship and one near the front. Oh, they're the ones that are furthest out? Because the ones in melee are, have their spears. Maybe you should just line up a lightning shot killing, t- or starting to kill two of the archers on the back side. I like the idea, since I can use the rigging to not float away, I like the idea of sniping the caster. You want to hunt the caster? I think that's good, too. I think I'm going to go that direction. I mean, the caster is so scary, you could even just blow a lightning charge just to for sure finish him off. No. It'll be the third one, so I don't want to use it lightly. Oh, it is the third. I thought you had two left. Yeah, no, I've, I've used two, so I've got one left. Oh, the other thing I was considering was quaffing a healing potion. But since I can kind of, like, pop out and shoot and go back, I don't really need to do that this turn. I more want to kill the caster. So I will use the rigging to sort of descend and round the balloon a little bit to where I can see the caster where he's standing toward the front of the ship. And then I'm just going to take a rig skis old shot at him. And that's going to be a... uh, a 13 to hit? That's a miss. Ugh, shucks. Dag nabbit. Wait, 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 you have, ba- uh, you have a bar already. Uh, oh, you already learned the result. Yep. I, I didn't right. say it oh. fast enough. <laughs> That's cool, I'll use it for next time. So Tokus has bardic inspiration. I do. Yeah, Tokus and I both have, both have it. Oh. You're right, dang it. I even set the D8 aside and didn't look at it. All right, I'll retreat back to my perch and end my turn. Dang it, Tokus, you're right. It's okay, Shaba. I forgot about it until you already made the shot. <laughs> so you just you go back and then you kind of like jam your legs into the holes in the rigging so that even if you go unconscious, you're not going to fall. Right. Or hopefully not going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully. All right. Guard attacking Tokus, and you still have your shield up. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's until my next turn, isn't it? That's it's fantastic. Miss. Such a powerful spell. And miss. Yeah, it's especially powerful when stacked with your already insane armor class. <laughs> Makes it very difficult for any of these guys to do anything. <laughs> All right, so yeah, four guys attacked you and missed with every shot. One guy who spotted Aslo last time, you've mostly hidden yourself, but he's, you've got cover behind the balloon, but he can still see you. Mm, okay. So he kind of leans out over the edge and takes a shot. <laughs> Or two shots. I cast Grease. <laughs> whoa, what? Whoa! <laughs> uh, those are both really bad rolls, though. So, you're okay. Phew. Phew, indeed. But two arrows whiz by you through the air. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> two arrows strike the balloon, and the ship begins to fall. <laughs> uh, it looks like the material it's made of is like a heavy hide type thing, so it would probably survive an arrow strike or two. I would imagine, yeah. Took us. There's enemies on all sides. What do I do? I think I turn around and hex the archer for decks. Are you going to hex things, or are you going to lightning lure things? I, I mean, lightning lure doesn't have any good targets to pull, though. Could you move and then lure? If I move, I hurt myself. Why? 
Mm. Oh, because of they'll the, attack me. Yeah, uh, and if I touch yeah. ground, I take thorns damage. But like, well, you you can still fly, so you're okay as far as the thorns go. Mm, it's just attacks of opportunity. Yeah, the thorns aren't even on your square. No, I know. I'm just, I, I, I just. Yeah, it's the opportunity attack. It's only 15 feet. I don't see an enemy that would be good to pull. Well, you need to just start DPSing then. That's what I think. I think I should just try to damn it, like kill this archer behind me. Yeah. That's a spear. Oh, the guy behind... I thought you said the archers were the... The archers on the opposite side of the ship. Oh, okay. Oh, the, uh, that's where they the are. Okay, side. I'm okay. sorry. I thought I this thought you was... Meant the back. The I thought this was an archer feet. behind me. So I have spear... The archers are on port and bow. And you're on the starboard side. Oh, uh, man. Okay. Uh, we're, on, we're on the port side. I labeled it there. You're on starboard. It's labeled here. Yeah, but it's labeled incorrectly because starboard is left and port is right. And port is labeled as the left side. I looked this up beforehand. That's why I labeled it. It says port is left. Port's left. Oh, port is left. Okay, yep. Port is left and starboard is right. right. For some reason, I thought starboard was left. All right. I'm going to shoot the port backmost archer. All right. So I want to hex him first for dexum. Right, no, for strength. In case we use the uh, wand of web, right? Hmm. So hex him for strength, and uh, I'll let loose a vile bolt. Yeah, that's a pretty bad roll. That probably doesn't hit. Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. And you're also in melee, so that gives you disadvantage. I am in melee, but I'm... Oh, it has disadvantage? Yeah, so that's not going to get any better. I actually managed to roll lower. I rolled a five, and then I rolled a three. <laughs> nice. All right. So I don't think I'm going to bother using the bardic, because that would only be a... Um, nope, not good enough. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. All right. I did something productive. I hexed. You did hex. So one more of them attacks you, but misses, and it's Aslo's turn. Oh, dude, Aslo. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm kind of thinking what you're thinking. Yeah. I think you are. I've been thinking it for a while now. I think your thinking and my thinking are the same type of thinking. You're going to blow some more people off. You're pondering what I'm pondering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fly up this way. Oh, that was not at all uh, what I was thinking, but go for it. <laughs> all right. Go for cool. it. <laughs> well, maybe someday I'll find out what you're thinking. I mean, are there more juicy thunder waves to be had? Yes. If you get down by where Tokus is, like, sort of next to him, you can juicily thunder wave, like, three or four dudes. I can hit a lot of targets, but these two guys are, or two of the guys are asleep, and I don't want to hit them. That's fair. Could you move to the archers that are in front of me, or up to the left of the ship? How far can you move? I can, I can fly 30 feet, I think. What about flying to the other? Because you guys are using these netted, you know, you're, you're using that stuff as cover. Yeah, the balloon, sort of. We're using the balloon itself as cover. Yes. Could you fly to the other side and push them off? He can't push them that far. Uh, potentially. I mean, so basically, I was going to fly up to the bow of the ship and then thunder waves that I hit both the caster uh, and the guy who's up in front. Yeah, that's... And this guy's right up against the railing. He's leaning over it, so I have a chance to uh, to push him yeah, over. Yeah, I like that better than what I was thinking in hindsight. So I think that is my... That's my plan here. All right. Now, you, you're, you're going to be exposed, though, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit risky because I won't be able to get back into cover. Yeah, I'll be exposed, but I think it's worth it. Hashtag worth. Yeah, you're, you're decent on hit points. You don't have to worry about, like, getting taken out right away. Eh. Yeah, if I do have 31 HPs right now. I'll go ahead and fly up onto the bow of the ship and land, and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave to hit the caster and the other guard. Who's been trying to snipe you? Is there an issue with the mast being there? There is, potentially. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. And then what direction he thunders? It won't block the Thunder Wave. Okay. Okay. It's not big enough to block that. Okay, yeah. It just kind of goes right around it. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you're damaging the mast if you cast it right on that. Mm. So they both make con saves. All right. Mage fails, and the soldier... Fail, fail, fail. Also fails. (gasps) Oh, he failed. Yes. Yes. So that means now he does the dex check to catch the ledge. And I rolled 11 for the damage, also above average. Wow. 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 <laughs> Aslo's kit is really dominant. I mean, like, you're controlling two enemies. You're flying around. You're pushing people <laughs> off the ship. Keeping two of them asleep. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. You're Aslo, you're pretty awesome. Hey, 
Thanks, Tokus. I shout from the other end of the ship. <laughs> hey, you shout. Hey, Tokus, you're not so bad yourself. And you give <laughs> thumbs up. Oh, thanks, Shaba. With that 11 points of damage, <laughs> that was just enough to kill the mage. Yeah! And send him oh, flying sweet. off the side of the ship as well. Woo! Baby. And you knocked off the soldier at the front. <laughs> oh, you oh, failed right. his dex wow. check to okay. grab the ledge? Yes. He struggles, his foot catches for a moment on the railing, and then it slips off and he falls down. Oh, man. <laughs> so epic. Oh, that's what we, in the business, we call two birds with one thunder wave. <laughs> As my old grandpap used to say. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those cartoons we grew up with where it's like, the, you know, like his foot gets stuck or his boot gets stuck in a bucket or something and kind of like just. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, what? Uh. And after that, he lightly set, touches down on the bow of the ship with his hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> it's a good thing that you didn't knock the mage off and you actually killed him because he's got fly cast, so he could have just flown back. Oh, that's true. All right, Shava. <laughs> okay. So, guys, I feel like we should have been doing this this whole time. I feel like we only recently got set up to do this, though. Mm, true. Is the issue. Like you were constantly being slowed and separated and right. harassed from all sides. That's true. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. The scepter's below decks. The scepter's below decks, yes. The scepter's below oh, decks. Oh, man. Okay. For jerseys. For totes McBoats. Because we're on a boat. <laughs> Sorry, my brain was like, did we just blow the scepter off the ship? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to round the the old airbag, the old wind bag. <laughs> That's not enough. Who, Tokus? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, I don't, I don't need the fly spell. I have enough, enough hot air to... <laughs> He's got hot air to spare. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take a the old pot shot at one of the guys who is outside uh, of the spike growth area uh, toward the back of the ship on the old quarter deck there. How do you feel without Stripey around, Shaba? Uh, like a part of me has been ripped out. Like a part of the damage output of you has been ripped out? Yes, that too. I mean, yeah, Stripey would be tearing things up right now if he was here. I mean, we all know that, right? He'd be stealing all of the kills. Yeah. He, oh, yeah, he, is, he is the cherry picker. As usual. He'd be cherry sure, picking like but. a mug. Now, guys, I have a serious question. And Thane, this is not a question for you. It's a Thane, it's a, it's a Thane for, for Aslo and Tokus. It's a question for Aslo and Tokus. Do we think or do we know that at 15 hits? Uh, I don't for One of know. the reg Regskis guards? One of the Regskis, yeah. Because that's what I rolled for my shot. So, plate mail is... 15, or 18, right? Are they in pl full plate? No, they're not in plate, but they're in something. They're in half plate. Yeah, they're in half plate, which is probably Ooh. 16, I How much say. can we metagame this? No, I was just curious if you <laughs> knew from, like, past attacks or anything, because I don't think I've actually mm. landed a... I don't think 15 is it, because I don't think 15 is half plate. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be safe and use the bardic. Yeah, I don't really make attack rolls anymore, so... Well, I rolled a 1 on the bardic, so hopefully it's a 16. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a 16. It still misses. Oh. Dang, flang it. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I cannot catch a break. Dude. I will go back to my hidey hole and end my turn. Oh. Brutes my goods. <laughs> Shaba, you're doing exactly what we need. Fair enough. It's not what you wanted to do, but it's what we need you to do. <laughs> I mean, I'm resilienced now. Maybe I should stop being such a baby and start to move around and try to lightning lure some guys. I mean... That's valid. But if you move out of the spot that you're in, then the guys will be able to escape from the spike growth that are around you. But, you know, do as you will. It's not the end of the world. When the Shaba just attacked, misses once, and then hits Tokus. Do you want to use your last shield now, or save it? I'm hanging on. I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right. I'm hanging on to it. All right. Uh, he hits you for... Oh, wait, no, I'm concentrating on Hex. Maybe I should. Maybe you should. I've changed my mind. I'm shielding. You're concentrating on Hex? What shield. is? I am concentrating on Hex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right on. So you, at the last second, shield and block. Yeah, Tokus is like, should I? Should I not? Should I? Can you hold on a second? <laughs> Before you hit me. M my attacker, can you? Yeah, give me a second here to think about whether I should use this spell or not. One of the archers, the archer that you hexed, moves across towards the starboard side closer to you. He grabs hold of the ballista and turns it around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, the ballistas aren't actually there. Aw. That would be awesome if they were because then we could pull like a Return of the Jedi. Aim it at the deck! Aim it at the deck! Or like <laughs> point it at the balloon. 
Or yeah, yeah, we pop our own. <laughs> we pop the balloon. <laughs> I've been thinking that the whole time. Like, how do we send this ship careening into, <laughs> right, like, a mountainside? Fiery doom. He gets to the position at the back right corner of the ship and readies his bow, pointing it off towards the right side, towards the front right, kind of where Shabu and Aslo have been consistently hiding. Uh, Another guy attacks you with a spear and misses, and last guy attacks you with arrows and misses, and it's Tokus' turn. Okay. Now is the time to lighting lore. So earlier mm-hmm. I had disadvantage for shooting fire vials since I'm in melee. What if I pull that archer towards me and then slash him with my axe? That would be very damaging. And it would be really cool. Sure. You can try that. All right. So yeah. I'm going to lightning lure that archer. Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Is it based on my spell stats, though? Yeah. Uh, Tokus has a plus four. I have 18 intel. Fails, so you pull him towards you? Yes! All right! And then I get to damage him, too. I think it's upgraded, isn't it? 2d8 now? I think so. Oh, at uh, level 5. I feel like I haven't used this spell in a while. Uh, This spell's damage increases by d8 when you hit 5th level. Sweet. All right, not bad. Actually, that's not great. That would be 6 lightning damage from the lightning lore. All right. And then I will give him the ox. Well, I rolled a 4, but I have some bonuses. Um... And it's a plus one. It's a plus one. You need to ask him a question. Yep. It's still not great. I mean, that would be a 12. Even if I rolled above average on the Bardic, I'd have to roll a five on the Bardic, we think, right? Yes. Is that worth it? I mean, it's, it's a hex damage. Maybe I should go for it. A five is not impossible. Five is not too bad on a T8. I mean, it's you, a little less than 50%. You got a 50%. Exactly chance. 50%. Exactly 50%. Yeah, this is like, this is the shot you don't take in XCOM. Yeah, it is. Uh, I rolled enough, though. I rolled a six. All right. Okay. So there you go. that hits. And oh, and I get to do the extra damages. Oh yeah, very cool. And then I, I need to look at the. I haven't used this battle axe much. So forgive me, guys. I need to look at how it works. So on a hit, the weapon deals an extra d6 of poison. Okay, how cool yes. is that? Wow. And it, since it's a plus one axe, doesn't it just do one more damage? Yes. Yes. Wow. Uh, I believe it is very cool to answer your question. Okay, hold on. So that would be... Okay, let's do physical damage first. Ooh, that's juicy. Okay, so 11 physical so far. Six poison, two necrotic. That's juicy. Wow. All right, so 19 damage. That is approximately 19 damage. Was that including the lightning pole? Uh, no, that's in addition to the lightning. Ah, that's, that's, that's a turn, my friends. Yeah. All right, so... Right, I'm done. Solid. So you whip him, pull him in, and then slash him with the axe all in one clean motion. See, I'm finally living the Eldritch Knight life. It took, like, the whole campaign, <laughs> but I'm, I'm there now. That'd be a good, uh, like, D&D YouTube username, Eldritch Knight Life. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that one's free for anybody, uh, whoever gets it first. Yeah. Yeah, freebie. <laughs> We're going to run into somebody with that username someday, like on the forums. Yeah, someone's yep. going to join the Discord. In our Discord. Yeah. Probably already taken somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if our Discord makes sense for somebody with the name of Eldritch Nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guards stabs you with his spear. You have no more shields remaining. No, I'm out. And you take ten, cut in half. And I have to do concentration. Tokus gets cut in half. What? <laughs> no. No, Tokus. All right, so I take five damage, and I have to concentrate. You make your save. I do. I rolled a 17. All right. And then it's Aslo's turn. All right. I think I am going to start off by flying over to the port side of the ship, the left side, and I'm going to do the same thing, but on the other side where I grab onto the rigging there, and I can't quite get into a good position to thunder wave anyone. I think instead I'm going to use a new spell. I don't know if I've cast this one yet. It's a little cantrip shindig. I like to call Mind Sliver. Oh my. So. Oh, mind. I don't know why you'd like to call it that. It sounds terrifying. (laughs) That's just the idea, Shaba. I'm going to... I think I'll go ahead and cast it on the guy who's, who's close to me now. He's over on the farther port side of the ship, and he makes an intelligent saving throw. Yikes, dude. Gonna lose all his memories? As a shard of psychic energy drives into his brain. Wow. That's a failure. He's gonna take eight psychic damage. Oof. And 
He's going to subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw he makes before the end of my next turn. Mm. All right. Uh, maybe I should have targeted one of the guys who's badly injured, but oh well. Then I will give uh, Tokus Spartac Inspiration. I enjoy it greatly. That is my last one. Thank you, my friend. Anytime. It's Shabba's turn. Okay. I am feeling pretty insecure about the size of my hit point pool, so I'm going to drink a healing potion. Yeah, we might as well start spending all of our resources, right, since we... Yeah. This is such an important battle. I mean, it's it's a battle for an artifact, guys. We gotta spend... Don't be so stingy. Spend those resources. <laughs> and for the fate of the world. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to quaff one of my two uh, healing potions. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding Snake me. eyes? Snake eyes. Oh. Mm. Good thing that they heal no matter what, a certain amount, right? Sounds about right. Uh, so I am now at 13, and that's an action to do, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How much did you heal for? Four. Minimum. Really? What type of okay. healing potion did you drink? Just a normal cure potion. 2d4 plus 2. It says potion of healing. Oh, it's only a plus 2. Okay, I was thinking of a different potion. I feel like the standard healing potion used to be d8 plus 3. So 2d4 plus 2 is, I think, about the same or slightly better as far as minimum. Yeah, actually, I don't have any juicy healing potions anymore. The only kind I have left are the same one you just drank. Yeah. Well, do you want to move or do anything else? Mm, nope. I think, actually, you know what? I will move. I'm going to uh, circle the bubble. I'm going to circle the uh, balloon to get around to the front of the ship. Okay. Right by where the front mast is. And that'll do it for me. You know, the sun's really nice on that side of the ship. You can get a nice tan for your protrusions. Yeah, it is. You know, flying uh, flying to the east in the afternoon, it's uh, <laughs> it's really nice being, <laughs> being shielded by the balloon. Actually, this is the shadowed side. I will take the hide action, even though I don't have an action. I will I will pretend that I'm hiding <laughs> in my new Shadow Drake armor and end my turn. All right. Don't you get to do that as a bonus action or something cool now? Is that what the armor gives you? I get to take the hide action in, in darkness. As, oh, right. yes. Hide in dim light or darkness as a bonus action. I will. I will hide. Hey. It's still broad daylight. I will hide in the shadows as a bonus action, even <laughs> though it mechanically does nothing. Thane, he's going to hide in the shadows of his self-doubt. Yeah. I told you I was feeling insecure about my hit points, okay? I'm just going to hide just for my own mental health, okay? I'm going to take a little break. Mental health moment. Like, is it one of those moments where, like, Shaba thinks he's hidden, but, like, totally everybody sees you and yes. you're just like, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> right. Just exposed for everyone. Yeah, the, the shadow who wanders the glade, I'm, like, seven feet tall, so it's kind of hard to be hidden. All right. So, Tokus is now under attack... Oh no! One of the spearmen missed you. The guy that you just pulled in drops his bow and pulls out a sword instead. <gasps> and he stabs you for ten. Ooh. Ten in half or twenty in half? Ten cut in half. Okay, ten cut in half. You manage the half damage. Just don't forget. I do need to concentrate, but I'm, w I'm waiting to see how many concentrate checks I have to do. That's it for them. Then the one that Aslo just targeted, he's still pretty close to you and... He can see you if he peeks over the edge. I have a plus six to my constitution saves. Oh my goodness. Uh, I pass. That's pretty good. I get a critical hit on Aslo. Oh no. That is a cool thing about Eldritch Knights, that they have con as the, one of their stronger saves. So that they're good at maintaining concentration. That is actually kind of nice. It's like the one good thing about us. Mm. That critical hit is exactly the same as the damage that I just did to... Tokus. So you take 10 points of damage. I take 10? Yes. Okay. Uh, you have to concentrate too, Aslo. I sure do. I'm going to make my concentration check. What's your con mod? Um, awesome. It is a plus two. Okay, so you need to roll an eight. Yes. So roll an eight or better. Plus two? Uh, with the thingamajig that um, improves all my stats by one. Right. Yeah, this is a case where that actually <laughs> works, right? His jack-of-all-trades. Hashtag bards are best. Um, yep. Here we go. Normal d20. I don't think I have anything else. You could also roll a one, and then you get a reroll. Oh, I could roll a one. You could roll one. So you're allowed to roll a one, but don't roll between two and, and seven. seven. 
So okay. roll a one or go. a nut. That's a four. Uh, a total of six, which is not enough, as I recall. Uh, so those two that have been in the daze for so long finally wake up. Oh, boy. However, who was the guy that hit me? The, the guy on the port side? Yeah, the guy closest to you. Okay. You didn't have mirror image or anything, did you, Brian? Uh, no, I think I'd cast it once, but all the mirrors had been dealt with. Um, I would like to cast another new spell. Feeling the rage surge within me for me losing my concentration and the dark, evil magics that I am now tapping into uh, because of my training with Tokus earlier. I'm going to use my reaction to cast Hellish Rebuke. Oh, goodness. So, uh, one reaction which you take in response to being damaged by a creature within 60 feet of you. You point your finger, uh, and they are surrounded by hellish flames. It makes sense for Aslo because you use your words for lots of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're speaking a literal curse. Yeah, that's right. I look at him, I'm like, hey, dude, come on. That's not cool. And also, you recently asked Tokus to teach you the ways of the dark side, so this plus the mind sliver totally are fitting. Oh, makes sense. Oh, that's right. He's going to subtract a uh, D4 from his deck saving throw. Oh, boom. Combo. Wombo. Thanks for the reminder, Shaba. Yep. (laughs) Do you have to, like, come up with catchphrases for this, too? The rebukes? Uh, Yes, I do. Hey, you're stupid. I don't know. I can't improvise any better than that. Aslo takes the lid on. He's like, I'm on the highway to hell. (laughs) I got exactly 17 with the minus D4. So that passes. Ah, bummer. Does it deal significant damage? 2d10 on a failed or half as much on a success. 2d10 for reaction? 2d10 for a reaction, my dude. Oh, man, I gotta gotta re-roll Warlock. So that would be a 12, cut in half as a 6. Wow. So he leans over, shoots you, and then you immediately set him on fire in return? (laughs) (laughs) Take that. Uh, that's about right, yep. And he tries to you know, quickly put it out and manages to brush it off before he takes too much damage, but he looks surprised. Tokus. Okay, so I think I should finish off the guy that I really hurt badly. Plus, he's the one that's hexed. Toots. Right, okay, I'm going to start there. What's the uh, turn order, by the way? It's Tokus and then... Tokus, Aslo, Shaba. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That wasn't Aslo's turn. That was a reaction. Yeah, that was his reaction. I shout, Tokus, keep him there! The group that's around you, keep them where they are. I'll try. If you can. All right, I'm going to slicey dice this guy that used to be an archer, but actually he was a sword master. That'll hit. And I'm going to deal some damages. I get to roll lots of dice because of the... All right, okay, okay. So eight physical... Well, plus one because it's a plus one axe. So that's nine... No, sorry. My bonus. Ooh, that's juicy. That's 13 physical... Four necrotic, three poison. Whoa. So, all right. Calm down over there, Tokus. He's got to be dead after this, right? Yeah, with your solid axe blow, you cleave into his collarbone, and he falls down gargling to the floor. Like, if yeah. we were playing, like, like, a Final Fantasy RPG, you have the red, like, blood gash effect of the axe, and then you have the <laughs> puff, like, the puff of green, like, the poison, and then the, uh, of the necrotic. Yep. <laughs> the little skull that floats up. Like, each individual affix has, like, its own separate animation, and it's, like, so 80s. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right, that's, I imagine that's how Tokus's like, three different effects happen. Okay. You have a second attack? I do, but, and I don't want a metagame. I want this to be, like, a Thane happy ruling. Could I bonus move the hex before my next thing? I mean, you can split it up with movement, so I think you can split it up with a bonus action, too. Okay, so you, you're saying I could move the hex and then move and do whatever with the the other... I actually yes. didn't... I, I should have said what I was doing, though, right? Because Eldritch Knight has two ways they can fight. I can extra attack, which is maybe what I do want to do here. Maybe not. Maybe I want to war magic because I have a bunch of guys on me. I should war magic, right? Uh, you should war magic. Do you have any spells left? Well, well, no, I don't. I don't have to. Uh, um, War magic is the cantrip one. So, so, so here's my thought: oh, What if, what if I move the hex to this guy that's pretty injured next to me? Move it to the one that just woke up that's most injured. I'm going to move my hex to him, and then I'm going to turn around and green flame axe slash poison attack. Okay. It's like one of those like unnecessarily long anime abilities. Oh yeah, definitely. 
and like it keep you keep adding stuff to it as as like you get stronger in the anime it like like gets more words associated with it but it's basically the same attack here we go green axe and ham I rolled a two. I assume that misses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. And green flame blade doesn't do anything if it misses, I'm pretty sure. On a hit, target suffers, you do stuff. Second creature. I assume that the second creature doesn't take its damage unless you hit, right? Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's a separate sentence, but... Well, so on a hit, they take the effects, and you can cause the fire. So I think that's yeah. part of the on a hit clause. This, this is a fine turn. I'm done. You guys, do your thing. That was a fine turn. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Damage was dealt, people were killed. Tokus, you see a momentary flash of blue light erupt from the grate in the floor, opening down into the hold. What? You don't know what just happened, but there was some flash of light there. Oh, no. And then everyone continues to attack you. I think Sean knows what just happened. What? So only Tokus sees that? He's the only one who is able to see the grate. Oh. Everyone else is taking cover. Well, this isn't great. It is not. All right. Uh, the guy that you just missed hits you twice. Oof. For 16. Or actually, that should be for 7 and for 9, which both round down. So they're two separate hits, so that's two yeah, so concentrations. And I I pass both of them. Okay, you take 7 total damage from that. 7 total. Yeah, that's crazy that I have such a high bonus to my con checks. It's quite nice. Yeah, it is. I wish you guys had this, because your spells are more important than mine. <laughs> For the first time someone decides to willingly move through the spikes, he's going to Ooh. run over towards Aslo. This is one of the ones that just woke up. Okay. How much spikes damage? Uh, that's two squares worth. Two spaces. All right. Do you want to roll that, Jay, because it's fun to roll dice? Yeah. So he takes three from the first square and six from the second. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right. That movement cost him nine points. <laughs> it's so good. I wish I had Thunder Wave. Like, I'm in the perfect place to Thunder Wave. Oh, yeah, dude. Can you guys imagine if I just aimed one right? For sure. No doubt. He actually starts to climb up the rigging. Oh, well then. I don't think the spikes would extend up on the rigging. No, I don't think so. I think it's just a Probably flat not. surface or whatever is the lowest surface. Yeah, so he... Jumps up on the rigging and he's climbing up with his spear in one hand, trying to get to Aslo. Dang, dude. You're probably a little too high for him to actually get to an attack, but he gets up to the side and he's within reach. Mm, okay. Copy that. Reach as in if Brian tried to move. Opportunity attack? Yes. If this were a movie, you would simply wrap a rope around one of his legs and then cut another rope and he would go flying up the side of the rigging. <laughs> Because that's how movies work. Yeah, well, that's how real life works. <laughs> right. And ropes can always be cut in one swift motion. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Brian, how's your uh, spell slots looking? Oh, my spell slots is looking pretty good. No, I have one first level, two second level, and one third level. And it's your turn. It is my turn, indeed. Well, Tokus, how do you feel about getting hit by a thunder wave? <laughs> I'd totally be fine. I'm worried about you doing that maneuver, though, because isn't that guy going to slice you? Yeah, he'll get an attack, but... You're not concentrating um, anymore. I'm not concentrating anymore. Yes. Still have 21 hit points, and... Uh, you can take it. This seems like a good move otherwise. Yeah. So are you going to move and try to push them into more spikes? Uh, yes, indeed. Or are you going to try to push that one guy off the side? Uh, both. Ooh. Both of the above. Okay. Yeah, dude. So I will go ahead and take off from here and fly. All right. So he swings his spear at you or stabs his spear at you and hits you for five points of damage. Okay. Um for five. I'm at 16. Um, do I want to hellish, hellishly rebuke him? What What does it take to hellish? Is it a level two? Uh, level one. It would be your last level one. Mm -hmm. Might be worth, though. 2d10. Might be worth. Yeah, 2d10s for a reaction. Would it kill him? No, it, won't, it probably won't kill him. He's only barely injured. But damage is damage. I feel like we just need to burst him. I don't know. It's, it's up to you, Brian. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to Hellish Rebuke. Yeah, I mean, what other f better uses do you have for your first level spells than dealing 2d10? Thunder waves. Just thunder waves. Yeah. <laughs> but I can always upcast them. That's fair. All right. Hellish Rebuke. Uh, failed. Nice. Uh, ooh, that would be 12 damage. Sweet. All right. That's a juicy reaction that... 
Aslo hasn't had a relevant reaction yet in the campaign. No, I've not had any reactions, really. You've fleshed out your action econ that I was meticulously annoying Jay about his for the whole <laughs> campaign. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you've always had your um, giants, whatever yeah, stones and durns. Oh, yeah, stones you've always yeah. J- Jay's always had at least that one reaction, but now Brian has one. So Aslo flies off of the rigging across underneath the uh, balloon. He takes a hit as he goes, but then he like turns around backwards as he's flying and shoots the guy with hellish flames. Turns back around and lands on the railing right in front of the guy who's steering the ship. Peter Pan style. Yes, Peter Pan style. And then yeah, I'm definitely getting Peter Pan vibes the way that Brian's fighting. <laughs> he will cast uh, Thunder Wave so that it hits. It does hit Tokus, but it also hits four, four of the guards. Oh, that's so good. Now, if I fail, can I fall off and die? Yes. You're still it flying. Is, it would... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're flying. Still flying. Well, for the time being. Well, yeah, hopefully still flying. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll find <laughs> yeah. out. It would be possible for you to be knocked off, though. And I'm going to cast it as a second level spell. Oh. Yeah, you just want to hurt me more. Aslo is enjoying this opportunity to attack his friend. <laughs> Way too much. So everybody makes uh, constitution saves. I'm pretty good All at this. Right. Oh, wait, not me. Just that way. No, yeah, not you. <laughs> what do I need to get? Uh, 17. Ooh, okay. You need 11 or better on the d20. I can use my bardic to help this roll, can't I? Totes. Oh, I don't need to. I rolled really high. I rolled an 18 on the dice, so that would be a 24. Nice. You're set. Well, I still take half damage here. Yeah, so I rolled 11 thunder damage. Okay, so I take 5? You take 5. 6, okay. So they all take 5 as well because only one of them failed. Oh, I got a concentration again. Brian, don't you be why I lose this hex. I keep it. So yeah, if they make the save, they're not pushed. But if they fail the save, they're pushed. Okay, so the one guy failed. Yeah, one guy failed. And you know what? This is the opening on the side where they have the planks come down. So there's not really a railing right there. (laughs) (laughs) He's getting pushed right into it. So you push him through the spikes. He takes some damage from that, but then he just goes right off the edge. (laughs) Yes! Yes! And this is where Aslo says, like, walk the plank. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Like after the guy's fun. <laughs> and then you're like, I walk the plank, lad. <laughs> yeah, that, that Thunder Wave had some pirate swagger on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that'll end my turn. After it clears, I'm like, ah, so that was really cool, but don't shoot me. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, Tokus. Shaba. All right, I'm going to pop down in front of the mast at the front of the ship, take a shot at the guy who looks the most wounded over here, um, who's one of the guys that just made his save that Aslo just uh, thunderwaved. And, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight. Natural one? What do you know? It's a natural one. Natty one, though. I go back up into my spot uh, in front of the balloon, and I, uh, I cry. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I, I've rolled. Th- I've tried three different d20s. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> you can try a d12. You might do better at this point. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> might, the odds might be in my favor that way. Uh, I'm still concentrating on the spike growth, so yeah, I'm done. Seeing Aslo's approach, one of the guards who's been going after Tokus this whole time closes in on Aslo instead mm-hmm. and takes a couple of his swings with his spear. And rolls really badly. Phew. That's a plus. The last remaining archer also shoots at Aslo. And that, those are two hits for Oof. ten and six. Thanks, Bikes. Uh, ouch. That is exactly enough to bring oh. me down. I was at 16. Uh, oh my gosh. Took us what are we going to do? He's, I couldn't protect him. He was too far away. <laughs> I, I, I've got some ideas. Okay. Good, because I'm fresh out. I like the strategy you're doing, Shaba. If only it were working. (laughs) Well, so Brian (laughs) killed a bunch of them with the whole combo of pushing them off the side. There are only five soldiers left plus the pilot. Yeah. Right. Well, as long as the pilot doesn't pull out his laser pistol, we'll be fine. (laughs) (laughs) Hopefully. He has to keep driving the ship. Yeah. Yeah. You did notice as Aslo was landing in front of him, he was reaching for his dagger at his side. Uh, mm. Seeing Aslo fall, he puts his hands back on the wheel. (laughs) Well, that's what they pay him to do. Yeah, the dagger stab would have been extra. (laughs) He's already used up all his overtime. Working overtime, yeah. (laughs) 
Took us his turn. Okay, so I'm going to green... F- uh, this is going to seem strange, but I have a plan. The guy to my left is the archer, right? No. The only archer that's left is on the other side of the ship. Oh, okay. But I feel like I should slice that guy because he's not inside of the spike growth. Okay, the one that just attacked Aslo and missed. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to avenge my friend. And I will... <sighs> green... Axe! I almost said hammer! Uh, that should hit. Um, and unless is he has he have better armor? No, they're all the same. Well, it, it, for the record, it's an eighteen total. I assume eighteen hits. Hit. Hang on, I want I want to do the guy that has my hex first, because um, I flit a little bit of green fire over to him. Does that matter? To, does it matter the order of resolution on this thing? Potentially it does if you want to use your bonus action to move your hex. You hexed the the weakest one, right? Yeah. But you're not going to be able to hit him at all. He's on the right side of you, and green flame only extends an extra five feet. Oh, it only goes five. Ah. Okay. Could I... I mean, they have the same armor class. Would it be okay if I attack the guy directly in front of me? Because I, I, I forgot that yeah. limitation about green flame blade. Okay. All right. So I'm actually attacking the guy in the middle, and okay. I'm going to slice him down his middle for some damage. All right. That's healthy. Um, not for him. Yeah, 11 (laughs) physical, uh, and then, so that's 6 fire and 11 physical to the guy in the middle. And poison? Four points of poison. All right, takes a heavy hit. He's still alive, though. Then the the uh, the flit of fire goes over to. I want to aim it at the, the green flame blade. Gets really strong at fifth level because it deals fire to the direct hit, and then it also gets to deal extra fire to the. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Mm, nice. Uh, so that's six fire to the other guy. Does okay. it kill him? It doesn't kill him. Does he die? Both no. Still up, but weak. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, no. I feel like I just used my second attack on the guy that's right in front of me. I feel that way, too. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's a hit, and I get to roll physical and poison again. So that's another two poison, but that's a healthy hit that is 13 physical. I rolled max. All right. And with your second axe swing, you take down another one of the soldiers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And that's my turn. We're getting there. Guys, this poison axe is really sweet. <laughs> Tokus, like, goes to lick the blade and then remembers that it has poison. You know, like how, like, bloodthirsty barbarians fight. They, like, lick their blades after they, you know, slice. All right, so the guy that you've hexed attacks you and misses. You can see the one that climbed up the rigging after Aslo continues climbing, and he goes up and off to the side somewhere and out of sight. Oh, no. They're using mm. our strategy. And now it's Shabba's turn. All right, guys. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to deal some uh, damage with my bow this turn. I'm gonna try to like <laughs> shoot somebody. I'm gonna try and hit somebody with an arrow. Really? Now you're trying to deal damage with your bow? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a good idea. I didn't realize. This time I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I didn't know you had it in you. I'm gonna hit the dude who's to Tokus's right, who looks very badly wounded. I'm gonna try, guys. I'm gonna really, really try this time. Okay, uh, I still... Th- do I? I don't have a bardic, do I? Uh, I think I have a bardic. No, did you use it up? Okay. I used it up. Does that not hit? You need a 17, right? I didn't hit on a 16 last time, and so I'm not going to hit on a 16 this time. <laughs> We're pretty sure it's a 17. <laughs> oh yeah, my it's gosh. a 16. Uh, and then I'm going to fly up, and I'm going to start working my way around this balloon to the starboard side. I'm working my way... Over to... Uh, I'm working my way, my way back, back to Aslo <laughs> with a potion in my backpack. <laughs> and uh, I am going to stay up in the rigging and hide. And that is it for me. All right. Oh, I should have moved my hex. I didn't... Oh, no, it's still on that guy. I can't move it. Wait, wait, wait. He should have taken an extra necrotic from being hit by the fire. Man. Mm. Tough break. It's too late now, isn't it? I forgot. I should have done a D6 of Necrotic. Technically, he was hit by the spell. Well, it's it's it's, it's any time I deal damage that's not uh, spell check. Huh. No, it's... Or does it say hit? Whenever you hit it with an attack, which is so vague, but... It's fine if it doesn't work that way. I think we've ruled in the past that it's pretty much whenever you deal damage. Just deal it. <laughs> Sweet. Inconsistent, but whatever. One point. Of necrotic. <laughs> that could make all the difference. Does that do it? No, it doesn't kill him. No, it doesn't do it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Jay, we need you to hit, and I need to deal. 
anything, yeah. Damage. Literally anything. We're still outnumbered, by the way, listeners. So, Tukus, that one one guard on your left moves back around to flank you, and he hits you twice for... Oof. Okay. Uh, 11 and 7. Okay, so that so would that be... So that goes down to uh, 3 and 5 damage. 3 and then 5, okay. I'm at 13, dudes, and I'm going to take two concentrations. And I think, finally, I need to use the Bardic. It's worth it, right? Maybe you're also being shot at. Hashtag worth. Yeah, it's my, this is my very last spell, this hex that I kept going. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Bardic. I can Bardic to keep it, right? Mm-hmm. I keep it. Okay, but you're also shot with an arrow once. No! How much damage? Seven, so three damage. Okay, I'm down to ten, and I'll hopefully make this concentration. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I have to roll worse than four, and I rolled a three earlier, because I have a plus six con save. All right, so it's Tokus' turn. Four soldiers left. Okay. Um, I think I just turn around and just slice the guy who's nearly dead. That hits. I deal necrotic and poison and physical. Yeah, I feel like he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Yes. All right. Another one bites the dust. Okay. I will move my hex, that is strength hex, to the other dude next to me. And then I will green fire axe slice attack. Oh, that's exactly 17. Nice. Oh, yes. Okay, so 17s do hit. All right, here we go. All right. uh, Three poison, 12 physical, and five necrotic. 20 points of damage. It's a strong blow, but he's still standing, leaning against the railing, holding his wounds. But Oof. these guys do not seem inclined to give up under any circumstances. Hang on. Uh, guys, 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 guys. I'm, at, I'm wow. at 10. There's still a bunch of enemies, and they're mainly going after me instead of Shaba. Do I use the final charge on the Bracer to heal for half? It would be a super safe play. We you know that the fight is... Action. Uh, I already used my bonus action to move the Hex, so I'm dead, guys. I'm super dead. <laughs> no, you're not dead. You're okay. You're going to be all right. Just trust in your armor, Tokus. I mean, they got through to me because they were flanking. I'm, I'm done. I got nothing. I mean, I guess I could move, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I mean, you're just going to have to hope you survive one more turn, and then... Uh, yeah. I should have thought about the bracer before I moved the hex. Azo, you don't have any uh, mass heals left, do you? He's... I do, but I'm unconscious. He's unconscious. Well, I know you're unconscious, but I'm planning to change that directly. Okay. Yeah, I do have, have some heals left. That would be really unfortunate if we go down here because I forgot to use my bracer. <laughs> Shaba, you look up and suddenly see that what one of those soldiers has climbed over the top of the balloon and come down. What? Coming down on your side, and Wait, he what? tries to. Stab I specifically you. changed where I was so that he wouldn't know where I was. Because <laughs> oh, I was he at climbed the front of the over ship. the top of the balloon. Well, if he climbs on top, he can scan around and see any heads poking up, and so he then uses that to close in and attack. But you are still resilienced, right? Correct. He does hit you once for nine points of damage. So four, four. Okay. Feels like we're gonna die. But we actually have a lot more health to work with. Yes. Since it's doubled. You're at sort of. Ten and nine now. Yeah, I'm at nine. There's some real tension in the room. There's still <laughs> a bunch of enemies up. Both Shaba and Tokus are in the red. Shaba's turn. Alright, I'm taking the attack. I'm making a beeline straight for Aslo. The guy in the rigging attacks you again? <laughs> That's a hit, but only four points of damage, so two. Alright. <sighs> Okay. Okay, and uh, I will breathe the hot, meaty breath of Kavaki onto Aslo and cast <laughs> Cure Wounds. Uh, all right. Oh. So that's going to give you... <laughs> what do you know? Another one. Another one. Oh. If I haven't rolled enough ones. Wow. So three hit points. Three HPs. Three is way more than zero, my friend. <laughs> it is wor- a world's away from zero at this point. Ryan has some stuff he could do. I cannot... How many ones have I rolled tonight? At least... At least four? Five? Six? Remember I rolled snake eyes? Oh, that's right. Yeah, so six. If only you were a halfling. Oh, yeah. I know. Anything else? I don't know. If, is it worth keeping the spike growth up right now? I guess it kind of is, because the two guys are separated from us and they would need to move toward us to get there. Yeah. I, I'll have to do weird things like what the other guy did, like get up onto the balloon and like use the balloon to move around the ship instead. 
Yeah, I don't see any reason to drop it at the moment, so... What, what were you going to drop it to do? Uh, I was just thinking if there was any other spells I could... I mean, I couldn't, can't cast another spell. I'm just thinking of bonus actions and stuff. No, nothing. I'm good. Like Zephyr Strike? Yeah, but I can't cast that this turn anyway. Yeah, just stay next to me, Shava. Yeah. Don't ever leave me again. <laughs> uh, the one guy who's still left in melee decides he's going to attack Shaba this time. I will impose disadvantage on one of those attacks. All right. The, the most menacing one. Uh, I rolled exactly the same number on both dice, and it hits for seven. So three. Second attack hits for four. So two. All right. Still up. Are you down? Nope. Thanks to the resilience. <laughs> You're at two hit points? Correct. I mean, the armband is, like, the sickest thing we have, like, since we gave up the crown. Yep. It's back to number one. And the archer is shooting at Tokus still. He doesn't have a clean shot on Shaba with railing in the way. Uh, one and a 20. So one hit for eight. So four points of damage. Mm. Down to six. All right. Tokus' turn. I mean, I should just use the bracer, right? Like, this is such an iconic battle. I just, I was thinking I didn't want to use more charges because I don't know if we have downtime for Tokus to re- fully recover. The party has a cumulative total of 11 hit points. Yeah. How about we see how the rest of my turn goes? You can, uh, how, what is the bracer, an action to use? A bonus action, I think. It's a bonus action, but he- here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm not ignoring the fact that the pilot's right behind you, Aslo. Mm-hmm. But I think what I want to do is I think I want to lightning lure the guy that I can reach to me, which would pull him through two squares of... He's up in the rigging, so he's got the same sort of cover that... Okay. Shabun, so you can't actually see him. That's right. I don't know why I was thinking he was on the ground. Okay. The pilot doesn't have their weapon drawn, right? Right. It's still in his belt. Okay. Just making sure. I mean, we don't really want to kill the pilot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about this? What if I... Uh, I'm going to move past all of y'all. Here, move, move out of the way, Shaba. You're so big. And I, so I <laughs> scuffle past Shaba. There's still a guy who's alive next to you. Oh, there was a person next to me. That guy's still alive, yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, I forgot about him. That's the guy who attacked me this past turn. Yeah. So yeah, he's not dead. Actually, that guy's hexed, isn't he? Yes. He, okay. I believe he's the one you have your hex on. The guy who's next to you. I'm, I'm going to try to slice him and finish him off. Right now. Right here. Right now. Right here, right now. That's going to hit. Such a good song. No other hex I'd rather be. <laughs> and poison as well. Okay, so three points poison, three points necrotic, and probably enough to kill him, right? Yes, that's enough altogether. It, oh, okay. So I've rolled pretty well on the physical too. Okay, so now that he's dead, now I can freely move and do my super cool lightning lure. Awesome. So you're going to move up onto the quarter deck? Yeah. I'm going to move, uh, again, shuffle past the pilot, Shaba, Aslo, and I'm headed for the other set of stairs. I'm going to try to pull. I mean, this only pulls him like one square, though. Yeah. Well. I want to I want to maximize my war magic. I mean, why not stay where you are and pull him? Stay where you were. Then you get to pull him through three squares. It's uh, only 15 feet of yeah. pull. One, two. You can move into it a little bit so you could reach him. Remember, you can still fly. But if I move into it, don't I take the... F- Spike damage? You're still up flying. Yeah, you're flying. So you're saying, like, Tokus hovers over this dead body. Yeah, right in front of the quarter deck railing and pull him towards you. So that would pull them two squares. That's yeah. 48 damage. 44, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, 44. I think if I war magic from the, or the, whatever the Eldritch Knight thing you get at level 7, I think that's my bonus action if I do the cantrip plus a normal weapon hit. And that would mean I wouldn't be able to use the Bracer this turn. But I don't think we need it. I'm at an effect of 12 because none of these guys have magical attacks. I'm pretty sure it's my bonus action, Thane. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Yeah, so we may have done that wrong earlier because I remember moving the Hex and I shouldn't have been able to. Yep. Um, sorry about that. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, it's it's more costly than me just doing my extra attacks action-wise. But it's cool. I think we're good. I don't think I heal. What do you think, Jay? You look like you're thinking something different. I'm, I'm thinking that I have two hit points. <laughs> Does Tokus remember what the turn order is? Tokus looks at the turn order thing <laughs> at the bottom of the screen. It's Aslo next, right? Of you three, yes. Oh, but the enemies go next? Okay. I don't know. I think I risk it. I mean, like, we don't know if we have enough time to rest, and it's already awful for me to rest from two charges, right? I'm already at two levels of exhaustion after this fight tonight. Correct. Yep. Yep. All right, I'm going to lightning lure this guy instead of healing. All right, so you jump off the railing of the stairs, 
hover over the spikes and pull the guy or try to pull the guy towards you? Yes. And saving throw failed. So you do pull him. Excellent. 4d4. Nice. Three from the first square and five from the second. All right. I rolled snake eyes. Uh, so that's two lightning damage. Great. Well, still ten damage altogether. And you've pulled the archer into melee range. Yeah, that's not nothing. And I like this positioning because I'm still next to you guys in case that pilot wants to try to off one of you. Right. I'm, I'm making sure I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching in that guy, okay? I'm watching you. You just fly this blimp, okay? And I end my turn. <laughs> All right. So the, guard, or the soldier that's up in the rigging climbs down and across and kind of lets himself off on the stairs out of the spikes, but that's going to take up his whole turn just getting there. And now it's Ezra's turn. All right. Um, what do you have at your disposal, spell-wise? Pilot doesn't have his weapon drawn, so I think I can move away safely without taking attacks. Um, I have a second level and a third level spell slot. I can do some more attacking, or I could uh, do some wound curing. Are you able to move, attack the guy that just came down, and bonus heal us all? As a matter of fact, yes. I forgot the mass healing word is a bonus action. Could you oh. stay next to me? I want you close to me, Aslo. I understand how you feel. Um, <laughs> you, uh, yeah, I can stay close to you. I mean, I also don't want to risk getting attacked by the pilot. Well, I don't think the pilot's going to hit you. If he doesn't have his weapon drawn, he can't, right? But he could draw it and backstab me. Oh, they can do that? I mean, that's what he was going for. He, he reached for his weapon at one point, so... Yeah, but he. But Thane literally said he put his hands back on the wheel. Because I had been dropped. I was standing in front of him, he reached for his weapon, I got dropped to zero, and he put it back. <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm just, just, for players, it's usually very punishing if we, like, we have to use an item interaction to get our weapons in and out. Yeah, that's true. He didn't have his full turn to attack or anything, so I just said that you could tell he was reaching for his weapon, but it wasn't actually his turn to do that. Okay, so he's, like, readied a equip my dagger action. He's willing and ready to fight if someone's in range. That's all I was saying. He looked like he was getting ready to pull his dagger, but he would have had to pull it out first and then waited. Well, couldn't you just do the healing first and then maybe do stuff? Tell you what, I'm going to make my uh, attack first on the guy who is right near us, um, hopefully bring him down, and then do my healing and then move away. So I'm going to mind sliver that guy um, who's sort of in front of the main mast, and he makes an intelligence save. And I rolled a one. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, a five and a six on 2d6. So he takes 11 psychic damage. Sweet. He winces in pain and starts kind of moaning a little bit, holding his head. He's still standing there. Ah, but he's still up. (laughs) Dang it. (laughs) 